Hey everyone, Brady from texturelabs.org here. In this video, we're gonna check out a surprisingly easy technique to create these hyper-realistic half-drawn sketches. We're gonna be utilizing a criminally underused tool in Photoshop, the Art History Brush. I did do a lengthier video on the Art History Brush to create this paint effect. That video gets into all the details of how and why the tool works, so I do recommend checking that out, but I will include the basics of what you need to know here. I'm gonna be using a brush preset that I created. You guys can download it below. A preset doesn't sound like it'd be too important, but you can really get into detail dialing in all the settings for a good brush and it does make a big difference. By the way, if you're a Texture Labs Patreon supporter, I've got some really cool extra brushes for you. We'll take a quick look at those too. Let's jump into Photoshop and check it out. All right, I've got a photo here to start with. This image is a little over 3,000 pixels wide. I point that out because the amount of detail we're gonna get is gonna be relative to the size of the image and something in that three to 5,000 pixels seems to make a good jumping off point. This photo also has a little bit of a sepia tone to it. Whether it's a full color image or just a little bit of color like this, the first step is gonna be to lose all of the color. So I can use Command or Control Shift U to desaturate and then we can get started with the art history brush. So it's the brush with the little spiral next to it. It's generally gonna be paired with the history brush tool over here. And when you're using the art history brush, you're also gonna to wanna to have your history panel open. So the art history brush is a paint brush, but instead of painting with your foreground color, it samples colors from your image. And it gets those colors from a snapshot in your history. By default, there's gonna be one snapshot here already, the original state of your document. But what I want is a new snapshot with this black and white version of the image. So that's gonna be new snapshot from merged layers. Okay, then I also need to click here to get this little paintbrush with the spiral icon turned on for this new snapshot, meaning this snapshot will be the source for the art history brush. Then let's go into the brushes panel, import brushes, and like I mentioned, I've got this pencil sketch preset we can pull up and I'll select the pencil sketch brush. Now you can just start painting with this tool on top of your image, but for this effect, I'm gonna work on a new layer and fill it with white. My background color is white, so I'll just use Command Delete or Control Backspace to fill that with white. And then I'm just going to scribble around a little bit with this art history brush tool. It really is magic to see how this tool works and how we can start to carve out an image very, very quickly here. Of course, the longer I hover over any section, the more line work we get, the more shading and detail but just how quickly this works is pretty gratifying, especially for any other art school people out there who spent so many hours with the big notepad, staring at an old boot and an apple. Honestly, the trickiest part here, because it goes so fast, is not to overdo it. And I actually really like this aesthetic of kind of the half sketched out image. I can only assume that some of you guys are the same as me. If you're watching this video, you're kind of interested in the process, or in this case, the illusion of a detailed process. Now, the way the art history brush works with these particular settings is that it tries to trace around the contours of things. But when you have smaller details, in a lot of cases, it'll just circle around and around the details and never actually fill them in. So I've got one more brush here to be used very sparingly, the pencil sketch fill brush, and that will just fill things in really, really dense. This is how it looks by itself. It always tends to be the nostrils that need filling in if I'm applying this to a portrait but that is what this fill brush is for. All right, and that is the effect. From here, of course, always fun to layer things up a little bit with some paper texture or some charcoal texture, but I'll leave that to you guys to experiment with. These are all free textures you can find on the Texture Lab site, but let's look at one more thing. So the art history brush here is of course creating this black and white drawing effect because we're referencing a black and white snapshot, but you can also get some cool effects working in color. So here, if I take this color image, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna create a new layer and fill it with white. So by default, the history source is gonna be set to the original color image. And I can just go ahead and start sketching using the original colors. And that makes a pretty cool colored pencil effect as well. So I will post a link to this brush preset below. However, if you're a Texture Labs Patreon supporter, I've got three extra brush sets for you, which are pretty fun. This one is called Charcoal Sketch, and I think it turned out to be a pretty awesome, natural looking charcoal effect. This one is called Line Artist, and it's similar to the pencil sketch, but the lines are a little bit more distinct, the angle's a bit sharper, a little more emphasis on the outlines. And finally, Pastel Sketch, which has a really nice look to it as well, especially if you're working with color images. 
So if you're able to support the Texture Labs project, you can check that out on Patreon and it is much appreciated. In any case, I hope you'll have fun experimenting with this technique. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.